Stevenson wins their opener 73-62 over Waynesburg. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Uh, coach, obviously an incredible second half, but I, I want to start with y- you are not – this is not the biggest team you've ever had, but you just out-rebounded your opponent 47-18 to in the first game. What does that say about this group? How thrilled were you with their effort on the glass? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, that's what we've been preaching uh, from day one. and and really harping on it uh, it was the last thing we did uh, yesterday in practice uh, just to put it in their minds and we text the guys after shoot around uh, and just put one word in there rebound 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 so we've done everything we possibly can to try to get their attention um, on that category and and to their credit they, they've done a really good job what happened late in the first half that they, it just seemed sort of seemed like you hit a wall a little bit and what was the message in the second half that was able to get them going there to start the second yeah that might have been as much uh, coach uh, decision as anything and you know our, our lineup uh, to close the half out uh, wasn't probably the best combination that we could put out there but um, that's why you play these games early to find some things out and um, we were able to uh, uh, match up a lot better in the second half with our rotations and our lineups. You, you know, Mason Jones moves into a starting role, and clearly it's going to be a bigger role. But did you envision him as an alpha type, as someone that could take over games the way that he started to in the second half tonight? Uh, we did. You know, I, I didn't know when. Uh, obviously, this is pretty early, first game of his uh, sophomore season. But uh, he's a kid that was an MVP of his league, and. Um, he's used to you know, doing the heavy lifting, and um, and he's talented. I mean, he can uh, make shots from the um, three-point line. He, he can uh, put the ball on the floor. He's a three-level scorer, and and he's highly competitive. So we, we saw this in him, um, and that was one of the attractions to, to him. And um, a lot of folks saw that in him because he was a highly recruited guy. They had two guys that really kind of went off from outside, and I don't want to dismiss that because I'm sure you're frustrated about that and you want to do better. But aside from that, the defense was, I I thought, top-notch tonight. Yeah, Glenn, we just can't guard him from the perimeter. I mean, we went over there a couple years ago, and young man goes 11 of 13 from three, and and, uh, uh, we really stressed it. you got to get him. Um, uh, be there, arrive on the catch, and try to run them off the three-point line. But give them some credit. I thought they made some tough ones, and and um, uh, it was fun to watch because um, there was periods of times there we were flying all over the place, and um, and, and that's something, quite frankly, Glenn, we have not been doing uh, with consistency is is playing that uh, side of the floor. Um, and so what happens is our energy goes right. because we, we struggle from the offensive side um, and then we don't play defense as well as we should. And uh, we were able to uh, kind of fight through that today. And that's a credit to uh, the leadership of Ron and, and Cam Smith and Cam Sapienza and Nick Jones. Um, the active hands, too, in the paint tonight. Uh, Coach, it was a tough season last year for this group, which was largely you know brought back. This is basically the same group. What does it do for this team? This, you know, you played a good team tonight, a team that was picked in the top half of their league and, and someone had a really good season. What does it do for this group to get this positive taste to start the season? Well, we thought we were significantly better. Um, and then we have the two injuries to close the year out uh, right uh, before league. And uh, we really couldn't recover. Uh, but we benefited from playing some of our guys, uh, Mason Jones, uh, Cole Beeman, um, uh, Bryson, uh, we played those guys, and uh, so they got valuable experience. And uh, we might be a little bit farther along uh, because of it. One of those situations where you take one step back to take two steps forward. And, and uh, I, th- I think having that experience and going through those things last year um, carried into the summer, and, and uh, they came back um, uh, much better than they, they, they were at this time last year. Coach, congratulations on a great win. We'll look forward to the Mustang Classic coming up this weekend and seeing you back here on Friday. Thank you, Glenn. Great seeing you. It's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.